Next question. What do you wish you would have known about marriage beforehand, good or bad? <laughs> that it was going to be hard. That you can't get away. <laughs> I wish I would have known that. You can't get No, you're thinking you get to be with somebody. No, you can't get away. Yeah. That's... Yeah, remember all those nights that you're like, oh, I just can't wait until we can just not have to go home. Now I'm like, when are you going to leave the house? <laughs> and could you not come home? Could, <laughs> could I have the house for a day? Like, yeah, it's true. Can I have the house? Do you take the kids and I have the house for a yeah, day? Yeah. Take the dog, take everything, you know, take the plants. I want to be alone. Okay, like, so uh, that was that's on the bad side. Uh, I remember when, when we were about to get married, get to the altar. Oh. We're there and convinced I'm ready to go. The pastor... <laughs> starts talking he goes and i just want you all to know that what we're doing up here this isn't about just coming in you know watching two people get married but this is about covenant and for some reason when he said the word covenant <laughs> i went back to my bible school days and all i remembered was the entire class i had on the covenant that god made with israel and how he put up with so much the the everything that he had to give and go through to win her over because it was covenant and he's not breaking it. That second I realized what I was saying yes to and I freaked out. Yeah, I think he like, told me later that he considered it a moment to just like not oh, go through with it. I was literally like, what am I doing? This is stupid. Why would anybody make a covenant with somebody? This <laughs> is too intense. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why does anybody volunteer or choose to do this? I yeah. was looking for the exit. I kid you not. I started looking around being like, could I just get out of here? Because in that moment I realized the severity of what I was committing to. Yeah. Like I was committing to give her my everything. Oh, forever. Forever. <laughs> that week when we talked about it, I told you that I was thinking that and you were like, dude, I would have went with you. <laughs> she straight was like, you would have left? I would have left too. We, we would have, we could have called the whole thing off. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't. We so did. We did. We're here. Here we are. We made it here this we, far. Here we are. Okay, what are some good things though? Because I think everyone likes to talk about the bad, but I think we need to talk more about the good things. A little bit more backstory is that I was not the girl that grew up going, I can't wait for my wedding day, and this is the dress I want, and there's a color scheme, the decor, and this and that, whatever. I was totally like, I don't need a man. Maybe I'll have some kids, but not with a man. I was like, adopt or something. I was totally like, like I'm self-sufficient without a man, and I definitely don't need a man, nor do I want a man long term. You know, so I didn't. I really, just want to use them to buy me some meals. For yeah, a while, just to buy me buy stuff, me some jewelry, and um, <laughs> it, just to pay for my drinks. You know, Ugh. pay for my lifestyle. But um, yeah, so like I wasn't even. I didn't think there was anything good about marriage. Honestly, I hadn't seen it modeled around me, like you know, and like marriages that I'd seen around me. So I was kind of like, why are people even doing this? This is like dumb. You know, it doesn't make sense. But once I got married, I was like, you know, and after we had gone through a lot of the hard stuff, like. I think something that's really awesome in marriage that I wish I would have known before is that you get, like, you get, like, a partner in crime. I always call him my partner in crime yeah. because we're not always by the book. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely not by the book. No. But I always call him my my partner in crime. I call him my battle buddy because yeah. I feel like we're always in, a like, a battle. <laughs> but he, I know that he's always got my back, and, you know, that's developed over time for sure. Yeah. There's a major, like, trust factor there where like we've built this trust to where yeah I know that you like he has my back Which, he's gonna fight for me I'm gonna fight for him and that's like something really beautiful about marriage that that you can have yeah. in marriage that that's the glorious side if you guys can fight through the little well, just the growing mm -hmm. pains if you can get through that you do you get a battle buddy you get yeah. someone that has your back and you're not alone in the fight yeah and that is worth so much to know yeah. that you're not wow. alone. And that, that's, that's what I mean by like, you that's don't That's probably want, my favorite thing actually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's why you don't, you're not easy, not so easily considered to throw off the marriage for the other guy or the other girl mm -hmm. or something else that's out there is because you realize you're like, dude, this person has my back. Yeah. And I've got yeah. theirs and that's rare. Yeah. That's someone that will love me in the midst of my junk. I can be open with my mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. and she's still going to love me. Yeah. And we're going to get through this. And then if, you know, she can look at my junk and go, dude, you need to get it together. 
But if anybody else is coming against me, even with my junk, she's going to stand like, beside ah, me. Ah, She'll go to battle with back me. Back up. <laughs> Elbow to the nose. Sorry. Fist to the throat. Oh. Krav Maga is coming out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Take him out. <laughs> no. I really do think that, like, the good thing about marriage that I didn't know, I don't know if I wish I knew, but that just I didn't know was there is just such a safety in it. And we've actually heard it from some of our single friends that when they're, that they actually feel this, like, the safety and this like covering and this like support yeah. when they're around us or when they're yes. around other married couples, there's almost like this, like two together is like way stronger than one. So I don't know. 10 times stronger. Yeah. They're just, yeah. So it's I true. Like, like, like when people, people will come over and it's true when you're around like a, a healthy marriage, mm -hmm. people that are loving each other and strong or trying together, to, yeah. or even trying to, but they're like moving forward in that. Like you feel the strength of it. Yeah. You so yeah, it's like it. there's like a safety, but it's like it's like yeah, there's just that's a great way to say it. strength. That is where the powerhouse is built. Yeah. You want the powerhouse, it's in a healthy marriage. Yeah. And it's worth looking for and fighting for and developing because mm -hmm. once you get it, I mean you're forced to be reckoned with. Period. For sure, for sure. But there really was this like bonding together of love and dedication and just knowing that you were not alone and we could get through anything mm -hmm. together. There's so much more that you can take in life yeah, and so much more that you can battle against when you have somebody with you. The phrase that one can uh, stand against a thousand, two can send 10,000 of flight. There really is a, a multiplier of 10. One of the downsides of marriage that doesn't get talked about and just, it's just the risk that you take is that there is no guarantee that the other person is going to grow Ooh. and fight for the marriage. Like yeah. when you make that covenant when you make that commitment you're doing it on the premise that both you believe that the other person is going to fight for that marriage mm -hmm. and the reality is is that's not always the case no like there are times that the other person just decides to peace out to peace out and go i don't want to do this anymore and yeah. they just take off yeah and that is a risk that you take in marriage so you just call i mean i don't know if it's a it's bad it's a bad thing, but it's more of just in any relationship you have risk. In yes. love, yes. it's a huge risk. That's so true. But if both parties will get through the obstacles, then you get all the glories. Oh, yeah. But you always run the risk that at each new obstacle, the other person could choose to not go through it. Yeah. Or to not grow and to just yeah. give up. And that... That's a risk that's hard. Uh -huh. That is that is a hard side of marriage. I think also giving up doesn't even mean like, okay, we're done. Let's just be done. Let's divorce something. But giving up can look like, you know, two people living in a home that are just roommates that don't have that intimacy and that communication and um, you don't feel like you're supported. You know, you can you can still be married and like, not really be married, I guess. Oh, yeah, we see that all the time. We see people who are, I mean, they're more like business partners. Yeah, which there's definitely, it's easy to slip into that. Like, we find ourselves having to fight that because we do so much of our work together. It You've got to, like, make really clear boundaries of, like, okay, this is work time, and now we have to invest just as much time, if not more, into our having fun together, talking, being intimate, like enjoying one another outside of a business context because it's really easy, especially if you're both really driven like yeah. we are. Sometimes we can go like a week without even like talking like friends and only talking oh, about yeah. work and business. And Yeah, so we'll spend all of our time talking about work and business or just the things that need done, the troubles in life, whatever it is. And then all of our energy goes into that. <laughs> Hold that thought. We're keeping that in. Uh, that is so you. I know. All of our <laughs> all of our energy goes into that. And then because we have nothing left, then we want to just pick up our phones. Yeah, and or veg out. Watch a movie. Like watch or a movie. Watch a TV show. Just veg out. Be on our phones for a while and then go to bed. And it's easy for us to sometimes become deluded that we're developing our intimacy side when really we're just working together yeah we're just getting work done and, and don't get me wrong there's a great side of that but if it doesn't have the like mm -hmm. where we're connecting and growing where we put all that away like yeah. even just the other night we you know 
sometimes we just try to make sure that all phones, everything are out of the room. Mm -hmm. And we just sat there for hours talking, which actually kept us up later because we got excited just enjoying just each talking. other that we ended up staying up for like yeah. four hours just hanging out together and we got so much life out of it. And it's like, well, why don't we do that more? And so you have to guard mm -hmm. those times to make sure that you're getting both, both sides. Yeah. Yeah, for and not sure. slipping into that trap. Of yeah, because it's really, working. it's what I'm realizing is it's really easy to grow apart. I think it's like you yeah. can grow apart in like a week or two weeks, but then like, mm -hmm. like, like it takes extra work and extra investment, extra time and energy to connect to keep your bond close. Does that make sense? But then it's like super easy to just man go weeks without like even really talking about anything that makes you love each other more and sooner or later like dude you bug me and mm -hmm. I'm not attracted to you I don't like you right now get away from me like maybe life would be better without you you know what I mean you because you, you it's just it's just scary yeah. you have to really fight marriage is a fight you know how much I've had to fight for this girl's heart she will give me her brain and her work ethic <laughs> all day long she will give me lip she will give me that lip all the time <laughs> <laughs> she will just back talk me she'll <laughs> Work hard, she'll I'll do all those things, she'll death. fight me to the death, but when it comes to her heart, just and, oh. and we, over the years, have just had to remind her, like, we can do all that together, but I need your heart. Yeah. I need the times where you stop all the work, stop everything, and give me your heart. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, it just, it, it's the... It's what binds it all together and what mm -hmm. keeps us strong. Yeah, well, that wraps it up for that question. Guys, comment below. Tell us what you think. We want to know your yeah. experiences, your thoughts. We really want these videos to spark conversation, to spark community, so that you feel like you're not alone, and we also feel like we're not alone in this thing of love and stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Very I love stuff. the word stuff. So, yeah. Send us your questions. You can always DM me privately on my Instagram. We will keep you anonymous. Or if you're feeling brave, just ask your questions below in the comment section. And give us your thoughts, too. Yeah. And give us your thoughts so that everybody else can benefit from them as well. That's our daughter. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.